How's it going, everyone? So, how do I arrive at my measurement of 2.25 or 255 or 288 as the resonance gain value? And I'll explain that for you. You first must understand what resonance is. So, when we look at my device, uh, a DC charge in a battery is not resonance, it's a source. Um, it does happen to be in resonance while stored in the battery or the capacitor, but uh, the case in point is it is a source. So we're going to take that source and we're going to apply the principles of pi and phi. So we are, we're going to actually take 0.618 from the source. And the, the total whole of resonance is um, pi, so 3.1416, whatever it is, right? Uh, so um, pi is the full sum of resonance. Phi is the input of the energy, and the difference between the two is the 2.5 times, and that is resonance rise. That is the kick of Tesla's, uh, a single pulse, uh, compounding on itself until it comes into harmony basically is an easy enough way to understand it uh, the input is Phi the total sum is pi so when I use these formulas and I arrive at a transformer that is 2 pi that's actually two copies magnetic copies or electrostatic copies or electromagnetic copies or combination of the two copies of the original so that when I say two copies that's uh, referring to two pi so two times the amplification of gain of resonance of 2.28 so you know phi in pi out two pi amplification and then we're going to take a positive feedback loop and apply it to the top and the bottom that works in harmony with the fundamental resonant frequency of the oscillating resonating field. Okay, so that's basically uh, the understanding of resonance. And uh, I arrive at my answers through practical uh, uh, study and research and uh, intuitive uh, consciousness, basically. But uh, anyways, those are uh, my answers, and that's... Uh, the simplest explanation of resonance, pi and phi. Have a great day.